In 2041 violence and crime have reached new levels because of the continuously growing social and economic inequality. To deal with this, the governments of Central Europe have given citizens the right to be revived in cases of unnatural death. This technology is known as, Restore Point, and users must back up their brain data every 48 hours. Inside a fancy building in the city, multiple people are being kept hostage. Detective Emma soon arrives and does a scan of the whole building to find signs of life, however the criminal has covered the walls to block all scanners. Emma calls the people at the station, who explain they have no clues other than the lead was sent by someone named, Florence. At that moment Emma hears a gunshot indicating a criminal killed one of the hostages. She rushes inside as she ignores all warnings from her team, eventually bursting through the door of the blocked room. There are bodies on the ground and the criminal is trying to escape. When Emma asks about his restore point, he responds those are unnatural. She follows him out to the roof and swears she doesn't want to hurt him, but the guy says he chooses freedom and jumps. Emma looks down to see his body dead on the ground. Later at home, Emma tries playing the piano, but her husband reveals he recorded a whole concert in it already. They discuss boundaries when it comes to time dedicated to each other and work, but the man suddenly disappears. It turns out Emma had been watching an old video call because her husband is actually dead, afterward she puts on the device on her head to start the backup and goes to work. While driving, she hears on the radio that all the recent attacks were done by a group known as, River of Life, who are against the Restore Point technology. Because of this, the CEO of the company wants to discuss the privatization of the institute. At the station, Emma meets the captain, who scolds her for ignoring orders and losing the criminal. Emma explains that even if she had waited for the negotiators, it wouldn't have changed anything because the criminal waited for the victim's restoration point to run out before killing them. Unfortunately Europol suspects Emma pushed the guy on purpose so they'll be taking over the case. The captain worries because Emma's husband was killed by River of Life so she may be hungry for revenge, but he gives her a new case anyway. In the evening, Emma arrives at a crime scene where a couple has been killed. To her shock, this is the creator of Restore Point David and his wife Christina. The bodies have already been taken away for restoration and the police are using holograms on the scene. But Emma makes them turn them off when she finds a necklace in the pool of blood. Her observations of the body positions plus their wounds conclude that the murderer cared about the wife, but hated the husband. The biggest shock is that the victims had insurance but no valid restoration points. The next day the institute CEO Rohan holds a press conference to show his sympathies for the deaths but also to say he's not afraid of terrorists. He's sure that River of Life killed the couple and says this is why privatization is important, not showing much care about what it may mean for poor people. After the conference is over, Rohan tells Emma that all the institute's resources are available for her to catch the criminal, however he refuses to answer her questions and leaves her with his assistant Petra. Then Emma is taken through a tour of the place and she sees how the team brings a boy back to life after a car accident. She also sees two parents crying and Petra explains their daughter was unable to be restored because she didn't back up regularly, which is why David had wanted to implement real-time backups. Emma asks why David didn't have a backup and Petra says he did, but it was hacked and deleted. On the other hand, Christina wasn't interested in the technology and she didn't back it up for the past four months. Petra asks Emma not to leak this information to the public. Later Emma goes through the couple's files and finds a connection to a guy named Victor, who was previously accused of being involved with River of Life but was released due to lack of evidence. She finds pictures of him in the attacks and even one of him wearing the same necklace she got at the murder site. Emma calls the station and immediately gets a warrant, so she rushes to her car. To her shock, someone is waiting for her at the parking lot, it's David, who has somehow been restored. Emma wants to take him to the station, but David doesn't want to talk to the police, he wants Emma to help him get something from his home. He's sure Rohan won't let her solve the case because it'll put his privatization plan at risk and that's why he didn't tell Emma that David is alive. Emma pushes David into her car and they take off. During the trip, David explains he's been restored from a six-month-old backup, so he's missing many memories. Restoring backups so old don't come out well, meaning he won't survive long because of the side effects. Eventually they make it to Victor's house and Emma leaves David locked up in the car. While she goes inside, David uses the radio and hears the officers saying the guy in the house is Christina's killer. Getting desperate, David searches for the emergency lever and manages to open the car doors. Inside the house, Emma finds Victor, who says David deserved it. He immediately surrenders and reveals a weird device in his hand, saying he'll gladly answer every question as long as he gets a fair trial. Emma notices a gun on the table and takes it while Victor keeps on talking, saying Christina hadn't been afraid of death like the system wants everyone to be. At that moment David bursts in and Victor is upset to see him alive. He swears he tried to save Christina but he was too late because David had already killed her, then he tries to attack David only to be quickly stopped by Emma. The three of them fall to the ground and Victor uses the chance to run away, however David grabs a fallen gun and shoots him in the shoulder. This doesn't stop Victor from escaping and he jumps off the balcony to run through the forest. Emma immediately chases after him and shoots in the air to scare him, but Victor just keeps going. Unfortunately Emma slips and falls into a big mud puddle where she has trouble swimming because of the tangled plants. At that moment David appears and helps her get out. They can hear cops approaching the area, so David promises to tell her everything and asks her to meet him alone down the road in an hour before running away. Soon the Europol surrounds the area and Agent Mansfield thinks Emma's car being opened is suspicious. 
Mansfield assures her she's in the clear but also tells her to just shoot Victor next time. An hour later Emma meets David, who swears he'd never harm Christina. He also reveals he stole Victor's device and explains this was used to hack into the Institute's servers. The device is a key and part of a set of three, having them all gives you full access to the system. One is in a safe, Rohan has a second one, and this one is David's. Emma guesses Victor killed him for the key and when David points out nobody is supposed to know about the key's existence, Emma thinks Christina could have been on the terrorist side since she didn't have a backup. David refuses to believe it and asks to be taken home to look for clues. Moments later they make it to David's house and Emma informs him they have 15 minutes before Europol arrives. As soon as they get inside, David notices things in his house are in different spots, explained by his missing memories. Emma looks inside a box and finds an interesting picture that she decides to keep. David accesses the computer and discovers the institute system has been infected with a virus that destroyed his backup and is now attacking random ones, leaving tons of people without a valid restore point. Inside the box, David finds some videos, some injections, and Christina's backup device which is missing the backup itself. Then David runs to a painting that turns out to be a hologram protecting a safe, but he can't remember the password. At that moment Europool arrives so the duo leaves with the box through the back door. At Emma's home, David uses the injection on himself, explaining it helps with the side effects. Then David starts watching the videos from the box, which show many beautiful moments with Christina. In the last one, Christina reminded David that she wanted a baby, but David kept saying they'd have one after he was done with his work. Emma interrupts him to show him the picture she found, confirming that Christina and Victor did know each other and probably even had an affair. Afterward Emma goes to the station and learns from Mansfield that the police know about the virus and that David is alive. Suddenly they're joining by Rohan, who confirms he revived David because he's an old friend even if it's against the rules. However Mansfield doesn't believe him and thinks Rohan brought David back to cover the fact his system lost a backup. Thousands of backups have been lost to the virus now, including Petra's, however Rohan and Mansfield refuse to share this news with the public. Emma accuses them both of being selfish and protecting the privatization plan. After the meeting, Emma goes home and discovers David's collapsed, so she immediately gives him another injection. To their surprise, Mansfield appears at the door and David hides in Emma's room before she opens. Mansfield comes in and asks where David is. So Emma pretends she doesn't know. This prompts Mansfield to start insulting Christina, causing a furious David to come out. Mansfield immediately overpowers him and smashes his head on the piano before arresting him. When Emma is about to help, Mansfield points his gun at her. Since she hasn't backed up the last day, she'll lose the information she has if she dies. Emma secretly presses a key on the piano to activate her husband's hologram, which distracts Mansfield enough for her to jump on him. They fight over the gun and fall to the floor, where Mansfield is about to shoot Emma. However David hits him from behind to make him fall and Emma grabs her own gun to shoot Mansfield dead. Then Emma makes her police car take off on autopilot as a decoy while she and David escape on her vintage vehicle, which doesn't have an AI to be tracked. Their priority is to find Victor to stop the virus, so they need information. Emma drives them to a shady club where all kinds of illegal operations happen, like Russian roulette. She talks to a clerk that communicates with words on his teeth and she pays him for a scanner and an untraceable phone. Using the picture from the box in the scanner they discover Victor may be at his aunt's place. In the morning, the duo makes to the location of the picture and meet Victor's aunt Terezi, who says Victor left two years ago. She also shows them today's newspaper, which has their pictures on wanted signs. Terezi explains her home is free of technology and can't call the police to turn them in, so the duo agrees to join her inside. While they share a meal, Terezi shares that Victor left because he couldn't find a place where he belonged and that River of Life doesn't actually exist, it's just a made-up group used for propaganda. Terezi also believes that deleting backups isn't murder, it's just natural death. Since David is still feeling the side effects, they agree to spend the night there. Suddenly he starts playing the piano and he admits this is the first time he's ever touched one, explaining the institute started a new experimental program that could implant new abilities right into the backup memory. He never revealed this program to the public because it could be used for dangerous means. That night, Emma notices some strange movement around the house and decides they need to leave after all. Later at the car, she considers doing a backup, but David reminds her activating the device will make them trackable. They chat about their marriages and how the death of Emma's husband was kept secret from the public to cover up the problems in the system. Suddenly they see someone drive by and Emma reveals she knew Terezi had been lying about the years because Christina's picture with Victor was recent. The duo follows Terezi to a house deep in the woods and when they come inside they find tons of religious symbols. Emma points her gun at Terezi and demands to know where Victor is, so Terezi responds by turning on the TV. The news show that Petra died permanently because of her lack of backup, Emma convinces Terezi that she only wants to help and is sent to a room in the back while David stays behind. He can't stop coughing and Terezi offers him a glass of water, but as soon as he's distracted, she tushes him down. In the other room, Emma finds Victor and immediately arrests him. Victor once again asks for a fair court, promising to reveal the truth behind all the deaths. He confirms River of Life is Rohan's lie, revealing he uses terrorists' attacks to make people scared of death and buy his product. Victor had evidence of this and gave it to Christina. The conversation is interrupted by Terezi bringing David as her hostage, 
threatening to kill him if Emma doesn't let Victor go. As soon as Emma releases him Victor runs away, so Emma tackles Terezi to take the taser and goes after him. A chase ensues and when they make it outside, Emma shoots Victor with the taser, causing him to fall on the street and get hit by a passing car. The driver is unconscious but the car AI has already called for help. Seeing no other choice, Emma starts backing up Victor's mind against his will. To prevent the tracking, David covers Victor with special material he found in the house which can block signals. Inside a little pouch Victor carries, Emma finds a mysterious backup memory. Both Emma and David then try chest compressions but it's pointless. Victor dies after the backup is done. The duo puts the body in the car and take off, looking away when they see the cops drive by. They agree they need to restore Victor but they'll be caught in the institute, so David remembers he left his first prototype at the university where he created it. Meanwhile back in the church, a restored Mansfield has found Katrina's picture. Later at the university, David and Emma put Victor in a tank to start the restoration process. While they work, Emma shares what Victor said. David claims he didn't know Rohan was behind River of Life, but he can't deny that the company owes its success to the fear installed by the terrorist attacks. He swears that if he had known, he would have quit. Then Emma admits she has a plan and asks what name Katrina wanted for her baby and David says, Florence. She also calls the captain for help, but he doesn't like her plan. Once Victor is finally awake, Emma asks David to back himself up before he loses all this information again. The institute detects some unusual activity in the university and informs Rohan about it, but he tells them it must be just some student fooling around. After hanging up, Rohan sends his men after the group. Back in the university, Victor is angry because he was restored, but Emma ignores it and demands information. Victor explains Rohan doesn't want to kill him because of the virus, it's because he took out something from the system. All the payments Rohan sent to the terrorists for their attacks. However, Victor doesn't have those files anymore because he gave them to Christina, who said she would show them to David because a report coming from someone in the company would actually be believed by the cops. The files are in the safe, which means David did kill Christina. He was planning to pin the murder on Victor and bring Christina back from an older backup, which explains why he had the injections ready. When Victor discovered that Christina was dead, he sent the virus to delete her backup so she couldn't be brought back because she was against the idea. A furious David punches Victor, but Emma pulls him away before taking out the disc she found earlier, realizing it's Christina's backup which had been stolen by Victor. Suddenly they're interrupted by the arrival of Mansfield, who has been working for Rohan all along. He takes Emma's gun and then shoots Victor, so Emma agrees to give her the password for the safe to calm him down and reaches into her bag. After passing the information to Rohan, Mansfield shoots both David and Emma in quick succession, thinking he'll be safe because Emma hasn't done a backup in a while. While the cops Emma called earlier arrived to arrest Mansfield, Rohan makes it to David's house and uses the password, which is Florence. However before he can grab what's in the safe, the captain comes out of hiding to arrest him too. Moments later, the cops are checking the crime scene and discover Emma does have a backup, she activated it at the last second when she reached into her bag. The next day Emma is restored and she learns from the captain that Rohan and Mansfield got jail time, but David was released because influential people want him to still work on the restore point technology. Since he's lacking the memories of Christina's murder, he technically didn't do it and can't be sentenced for it. He was also the one that sent the tip under the name, Florence, so maybe he said the truth when he claimed he only wanted to save lives. Lastly Terezi is suing the institute for Victor's unauthorized restoration. Later after Christina's funeral, Emma gives David his wife's backup so he can always remember the life he destroyed. Then she goes home and plays the piano without the recording, finally having moved on.